From the Classic 107 Studios in downtown Winnipeg, 107 Live for Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. And welcome to Birchwood Jaguar 107 Live for this Tuesday, December 13th. In the studio this morning, we have pianist Mike Manny. Uh, now, Mike has been in town since 2009 uh, when he was uh, moved to Winnipeg as part of the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force Band. And he studied jazz at Humber College, then did a master's on scholarship at the Manhattan School of Music. He was recently uh, posted to the Regional Cadet Support Unit, and uh, apparently the shift to regular hours has given him more time to play piano, which is something he loves to do, and welcoming him back into the studio again. Mike, welcome back. Well, hello, Michael. Nice to see you. It's been about a year. I think it, it was about this time last year you came into our studio. Yes, in, fr in freezing Winnipeg. Yes, in here we are. In freezing Winnipeg, yeah. <laughs> and I've seen you play a number of times since then. We're going to have right. a little uh, chat first, You're good, we're, but I'd like to hear a tune first. For Why sure, don't you do yes. It? Since uh, it's Christmas. Since it's Christmas, there's going to be some Christmas tunes. You know, some gigs are coming up and practicing all the Christmas tunes because suddenly they go away again. But, you know, for now, it's all Christmas. How about that? <laughs> all right, let's have a listen. All right, here we go. Thank you. 
There you have Mike Manny performing a little Christmas medley here on Bertrand Jaguar 107 Live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thumbs go. up, thumbs up. <laughs> so, Mike, so you've been here since 2009. You've been in the studio once before. So we chatted a bit about your background, but we didn't talk about the fact that you're also a pilot. Well, yes. I That's <laughs> your main gig as a pilot. Well, I'm was. actually no. not a pilot in the military. Not a pilot in <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a warrant officer in the military, and I work, as you said, at the Regional Cadet Support Unit. But, however, yeah. I also am a private pilot. So I fly people around, as in the cadets, for example. Um, fly them around? Like, around Winnipeg, basically, on these things called familiarization flying. Okay. So we really get them interested in aviation by taking them up. And talking about flying while we're in the air and all the different things that, that happen while we're up there. And we get to go down to, for example, Winnipeg International Airport and we uh, do a little uh, touch and go there at the airport. So it's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's something of another hobby of mine, I guess. I, I also do amateur radio, as in ham radio and Morse ham code. <laughs> <laughs> Too many little things going on. But, uh, but, you know, practicing always comes first, I guess, in my home. <laughs> so what kind, of, what kind of planes have you, have you flown before? Uh, or mostly typically? the four-seater, uh, the single-engine four-seater Cessnas, 152s, 172s. So later on, hopefully, when I uh, when I have more time to practice flying, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll get into something bigger, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. So is it something you always wanted to do, was to become a pilot when you were younger? or? Well, it was always the case, yeah. I just, uh, when I was in Ottawa, I actually, I decided that I just, I'd put some time aside, put some money aside to really go and get my license and stuff like that. So I took my, my flying out of um, Rockcliffe Flying Club out there in Ottawa. It was really fun. While I was there in the Central Band uh, at, in the military, so um, during that time, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to put it down and just go and do it. Because for mm-hmm. years, I've been saying, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. And, you know, why not? <laughs> do you ever do you ever get, uh, I'm just th- thinking about going on stage and then going and flying a plane. Right. Same kind of nervous energy or is it dif- oh, quite different? I'm kind of curious. Question. There's a lot of different energies when you're flying a plane, I guess I would say. A lot but more at stake. A lot more at stake, I than, guess. Than you hitting know? the wrong note. A couple of wrong notes is okay. I mean, mm-hmm. I can make them work somehow, but a, a little mistake in the air is not that good. You know, you mm-hmm. can make it work. You can make it work. But yeah. at the same time, you don't want to be doing that up there. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So you, you've been, you've, uh, you changed your schedule. I remember last year right. when you were in, you're kind of in the process of doing that. I think what I remember, you had yeah. just done it. And your change in schedule at work has given you more time to perform and to play piano. How does that, how does that work exactly? What happened? Well, during, during my time with the band, with the Rokin Air Force Band, which was, which was a great time, actually, because we did a lot of traveling, and, the, and the, the folks there were really fun and really good, some really great music and really great musicians to play with. Mm-hmm. I was offered the opportunity to uh, take another job at 17 Wing, which was with the uh, RCSU, the Regional Cadet Support Unit. And when that opportunity came up, I thought, hey, this would be good, something different, right? Um, it was outside of the realm of playing any music whatsoever. I actually wasn't doing any music with the, the Ketup program at all. However, um, it gave me a little more time in the evenings to, to practice, uh, more times on the weekends to play some more uh, freelance music. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the band, we were traveling all the time. I think they were actually just out in uh, Moose Jaw, and uh, then they go to Dryden every year for Christmas time and whatnot. And before you know it, it's it's February, <laughs> and, yeah. and you don't know where you've been, right? It's so it's so busy. So when the opportunity arose, as I said, I, I, I jumped on it. I said, yeah, sure. I, and I still get to play. I still have the time in the evenings to do some gigs and uh, get some more time to practice and get some more music down, get some more jazz and get the technique going all the time. How about that? <laughs> that sounds, you know, I can hear. It. Sounds pretty good. To <laughs> Thanks. Us. I'm, I'm in the studio chatting with Mike Manny. He's a local keyboard player and uh, he is... Also a, a pilot. He's with. Uh, he's he's been in Winnipeg since 2009. Now, the first time I saw Mike play, and I mentioned this to before before to him, and when he was on air last time, was performing with uh, Marco Castillo in That's his right. band. Yeah. And uh, I remember. I mean, I'd seen Marco in his band a few times. First time I'd ever seen Mike play. And I think, I, I mean, as much as I love the rest of the band, I couldn't take my eyes off of Mike's playing because he had just he plays with such enthusiasm and happiness, you know, and that caught my ear. And I, was, I asked Marco afterwards, who's this guy? Where has he been, right? And, <laughs> and he said, oh, he's been around for a few years, but I hadn't seen him, and I guess I know why. And uh, so happy go. to have you back in the studio again. So tell us about some of the gigs you've got coming up. I know you're sure. playing, well, tonight, first of all, right? Actually, tonight, uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm part of the roster that plays at the Palm Lounge at the Fort Gary Hotel. Yeah, one so, our sponsors here. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a great place to play, a great house. Um, sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's really busy, and when it's really busy, there's people just clapping and listening and having a good time. Uh, tonight will be all, I guess, mostly 
Christmas music since we're coming up to that that time, right? So this is a little warm up for you. Just exactly. <laughs> well, I still need to warm up a little more. It's pretty <laughs> chilly today. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and then upcoming this later this week, actually, I'm playing with uh, a great vocalist here in town, uh, Helen White. Yes. She has uh, a show at the uh, at the Be- Best Western here near the airport. Yeah. Um, and then her students. She has many students, and she's asked me to to accompany them on Friday at uh, kind of a recital sort of thing that's happening at the the CMU. Oh yeah, the folio, the new folio exactly. cafe. Exactly. Yeah. I actually haven't been there, so it'll be the first time for me to be there. Um, and next week, so a couple other private engagements. One's at the Manitoba Club. I really uh, love those guys there. It's a fun time. They have a, a nice grand piano that I get to play on while I'm there. Mm-hmm. Um, so Christmas time is, is quite a festive, busy time. Uh, and after that, I'll get to take some time off from work and uh, go home to visit some family in, in Ontario and hang out there, have a couple eggnogs and glasses of wine yeah. and uh, have a good time <laughs> there and maybe play some after Christmas tunes. I don't know what those are yet, but I'll figure them out. New Year's. <laughs> That's right. New, New Year's, Year's celebration. Tunes. Exactly. And then we mentioned Marco. You've got a gig with Marco coming up. He's doing a That's tribute right. to Hermeto Pascual, the great Brazilian uh, songwriter. That's Some right. really, really neat arrangements from yeah, Pascoal. That's it's, uh, January 15th at the Park Theatre. That's yeah. right. It's some difficult music, I have to admit. Thanks, Marco. Thank you very much. It's going to be f- a fun time <laughs> getting those fingers going all the time, right? So it's uh, some great music, and I'm looking forward to playing the show. It'll be a good time, I think. Okay. Well, you're going to play us another tune. <laughs> yes, for sure. Another little Christmas medley, and I'm sure all the listeners will recognize both of them. Nothing's so uh, outside that nobody would know what's going on, but uh, here we go. We'll just play it. <laughs> Feel free to sing along. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
Yeah. Whoa, Woo. That's a lot of jazz in the morning. There you have it. He's warmed up now. That's, <laughs> that's Mike right. Manny on the keyboard. He's been in for Birchwood Jaguar 107 Live. You can catch him tonight. He's doing some solo piano at the Palm Lounge in the Fort Gary. It'd be a lot of fun there. Go sit back, uh, visit with some friends, and listen to some great piano music. And he's got a whole bunch of other gigs that I've posted on our website, classic107.com, coming up in the next little while as well. Mike. That's Thanks right. for coming in this morning. Thank you so much. Now I'm really now warmed up. Now, now what are you going to do? What are you going to do now? You're going to go gonna, and freeze your butt off I'm outside gonna freeze now, right? I'm going to my butt out outside. You're going to put the keyboard back in the car and head back to work later on. So. And head back to work. Well, we're going to have you back again at some point to keep you Perfect. warmed up. So that's awesome. Thanks Thank again you, for Michael. coming Thanks in. Thanks for having and me. <laughs> enjoy your gigs and have a great holiday season. Thank you, and you too. Yeah. <laughs> 107 Live is Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, brought to you by Birchwood Jaguar the art of performance.